Hello everyone. This is coadb.com or the Coat of Arms database. And today we're briefly going to discuss 10 different coats of arms in the Williams family. The first is blazoned, Azure, two organ pipes and satire, the canister surmounted of the dexter between two crosses, pate, and pale argent. And this was the coat of arms of John Williams, born around the year 1500, who was made Baron Williams of Thame by Queen Mary Tudor in 1553. He was Master of the Jewels and Lord President of the Council of the Welsh Marches. He married Elizabeth Bledlow and had three sons and two daughters. And here we see his likeness. Next we have quarterly first and fourth gules a chevron ermine between three Saracens heads in profile cooped argent. Second and third gules a chevron or between three stags heads cabossed argent attired of the second. This was the coat of arms of John Williams, a Welsh clergyman who was born in 1582 and served as political advisor to King James I and was Lord Keeper of the Great Seal, as well as Bishop of Lincoln and Archbishop of York. He was also once imprisoned in the Tower of London for committing perjury. And here we see an oil painting of John Williams. Next we have Sable, a dove argent between three crosses pate or. This was the coat of arms of John Williams, born in Northamptonshire, England, around the year 1636, who became chaplain to William and Mary, to William and Mary, after the Glorious Revolution, and was consecrated Bishop of Chichester in the year 1696. And here we see an oil painting of John Williams. Next is Gules, a chevron ermine between three Saracens' heads coop proper. The Williams Baronetcy of Vainall in the county of Carnar Carnarvon was created in the Baronetage of England on June 15, 1622 for William Williams the son of Thomas Williams and Jane Stanley. And here we see an oil painting of William Williams, the first baronet, as well as a list of the baronets of Vainall. Next is Argent, a lion rampant sable, head, paws, and end of the tail of the field. Crest, out of a mural crown proper, a demi-lion as in the arms. This was the coat of arms of Sir Nicholas Williams, who served as the High Sheriff of Carmarthenshire in the late 17th century, and was created a baronet in 1706. He was a member of Parliament and a Lord Lieutenant from 1735 to 1740. And here we see an oil painting of Sir Nicholas, as well as, I guess that was it. Next, Azure, a fest dance set between three lions passant garden ore. This was found in Coldbrook Park, County Monmouth. And we know the Coldbrook estate was, belonged to his, his the ancestor of Charles Hanbury, Williams, and Sir Charles Hanbury Williams acquired the estate, and he assumed the additional surname of Williams under the terms of a bequest from his godfather, Charles Williams of Carlton, Monmouthshire, Wales. And here we see an oil painting of Sir Charles Hanbury Williams. 
Next, gules on a bend or three chaplets of the field. Crest, a chaplet gules. This coat of arms was found in Devon, England, and according to Burke, it was found during the latter por portion of the 12th century. Next is gules, two wings conjoined in lure, or a martlet for difference. This was the coat of arms of Sir Thomas Williams, who was knighted at Christchurch Cathedral in 1558. Next we have vert, three eagles displayed in fess or, in chief, a crescent argent for difference. This was found in the funeral entry of Mary, wife of Sir, of Sir Maurice Williams, a knight of Dublin, and she died in 1639. And lastly, we have Argent, a greyhound current sable between three Cornish chose, proper on a, bet, on a border engrailed of the second, eight crosses for me or, and as many Byzants alternately. Richard Williams, Esquire of Trevor Vaux, during the reign of King James I, was the son of Baltazar Williams, whose great-grandfather John Williams of Herringstone County, Dorset, settled at Trevervo. If you enjoyed this video, please visit coadb.com and click on the link up top that says Genealogy Research. As you learned in this video, one surname can have tons of different coats of arms associated with it. So don't just pick any old coats of arm that has your surname on it. We piece together your family tree to determine which, if any coat of arms, belonged to your ancestors. Thank you.